I'm Lucas Pate, and I'm setting up a stall at my local farmer's market to show you that to support even the most offline of businesses, it's easy with a WordPress site. I want to give my local businesses an online presence that showcases what's special about their business. What do you got going on here? So I'd come out, talk about some website design for small businesses, mostly just tell them a little bit about WordPress. And what is that? It's just a set of tools that help small business owners keep their website up to date and just overall manage their website quickly and easily. Hey guys, good to see hey. you again. You guys have a website? We actually do not. <laughs> we can sit down and just chat a little bit and yeah. I'll tell you what's going I'd on. I'd love that. What are some of the key things that you think your customers would want to be able to see and access? If it's even possible to show where we're going to be set up because we are a mobile food truck, so right. we don't have one set location. Right. Another thing um, that I think would be re really useful for our customers is a menu that they can access at any time because we do change flavors quite often. And so what I'd like to do now is take some of this information back that you've shared with me and just get uh, some rough sketches together. Okay. That sound like a plan? Sounds, Sounds good. good. I use WordPress for 99% of my websites. Working in WordPress, there are always plugins and themes that pretty much every one of my projects will use no matter what type of business or what type of a site I'm building. I will just create a new blueprint once I start creating this new uh, site from this blueprint, I obviously am just going to give it a name. In this case, must have macarons. After I get a local site flown from the blueprint, I really just dive right into creating pages. So I like to do stuff as low code as possible. And as much as I can keep simple for the business owner uh, that's going to be the end user of this product and managing pages or sections of pages, after we deliver it, the less complex it is for them, the better. So I just use a fairly well-known page builder and I'll just start framing out what uh, the columns need to look like and rows need to look like on this particular page. I'm just building out the, the skeleton of this site. The great thing about WordPress and especially the extensibility of WordPress is that with plugins for page builders like Coblox and other kind of drag and drop uh, what you see is what you get page builders. The uh, way that WordPress is organized is really easy for just about anybody to be able to understand. That little home section is done, and then I can move on down the page to the menu section. I have a little bit of an interesting design for this area. It's really where their products are going to shine. I definitely want to include a map and then have a few little sections with their regular schedule so people know where to find them. This is going to be location and schedule. And then right below that, I know that I'm going to do a full width map. So we'll just go ahead and grab a map widget. And the only thing I'll need to do after that is just go grab um, an API key from one of the map providers. I will go ahead and just add an hour section here, and then we'll just move on to a simple contact form area. We will just go ahead and put the contact us heading here, and we'll drop just some body text underneath that so that we have an area to put their phone number email address, and if they want to, a mailing address. Since they are a mobile business, they may not necessarily want a mailing address. We'll finalize that whenever we present the kind of the rough layout to the client and get their feedback on it. I'll go ahead and save that page as a draft. Once I've finished building out the basic skeleton for the website, I make sure that I have all the plugins and all the features on the page that I'm going to need. I then move away from using the local development environment. It is nice then to be able to put it on um, a live or a staging server. So one of the first things, go and check your permalinks under the settings. And I, by default, just always save the changes here. That way, if there are any discrepancies between any of like the, the naming structures of the pages that we've already built, that automatically will reset everything on the server. So the first thing that most of our clients want to talk about is how they get paid. Uh, right out of the box, GoDaddy Payments is already enabled and it's a super easy, quick way to set up a payment system. They have a great fee structure. It's lower than a lot of the other payment processors that are out there. And the fact that it's just automatically prepackaged and all you have to do is go through the setup process 
and enable it right from the WordPress installation is really, really convenient. And my favorite thing, and this is the simplest thing, but it's my favorite thing is that in order to get into the site, I literally can click a button and I'm automatically logged in securely from GoDaddy to the WordPress installation that I've just imported. So, are you guys ready to see your brand new website? We are so Exciting. ready. We've been so excited. I feel like there should be a drum roll. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, this is literally exactly what I had in mind. Macarons just seem like everything's so symmetrical about them. So I wanted everything to just be very clean. We can customize the URL, like however we... Yeah, absolutely. So this site right now, we just have um, on a staging site. Now that you've seen exactly what it looks like, we'll get logged into your account, connect the domain, and then you'll have your live site. I feel like our customers are really going to like this. Yeah. Well, if I was interested, how could I get set up a consultation? Are you really interested, Mom? I wish you wouldn't bother me at work.